hello how is everybody doing out there uh yes yes back by popular demand we have the sugar weasel yep you asked for it and here it is thousands of people have been asking me like hey what's up with that sugar weasel what's up with that sugar you know here it is no not really but uh no 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 nobody's been bugging me about this thing i just i just figured that uh you know, after two years, I would, you know, maybe show you some some upgrades and some things that I did and things that I did that I didn't like and things that, you know, just just how I feel about the gun now after owning it for two years. Now, I haven't really, you know, shot the crap out of this thing. You know, it, it, it does what it does. It, it shoots like a 300 blackout, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's one of those things where 300 blackout where I'm from still is, you know, hit or miss. It's doubled in price and... For the same reason people use, uh, you know, I, I guess 22 AR uh, platforms to practice. You know, why, why, why shoot a shit ton of uh, five, five, six if you can shoot two, two, threes, and you know have that, you know, that almost that same experience. So I do have a, uh, I do have a a pistol five, five, six uh, that I shoot a ton more because you know obviously the, the the ammo for that thing costs half of what the 300 blackout costs so it's like eh you know why uh why waste 300 blackout uh but anyway that's that's just my my take on it you know what I'm saying like you know because if I jump from this to my 55 you know from my 556 to this you know everything is the same every, you know you know I don't got to explain to you all that shit but uh yes uh things that I have done to the rifle since you've last seen it uh it still has the same old uh sig romeo 5 uh actually has the same battery in it too that thing lasts forever um uh, i still have the same flip up uh these uh these metal spikes tactical sights that i took off my roadhouse um i put this strike industries uh qd uh socket on there uh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. So yeah, and it's a. I can't remember if it's like a, a forty-five or a thirty-five degree or something like that. But yeah, so you stick it in there like that, and the angle of it is just perfect. You know what I mean? Like it's just out of the way. When I had it over here, over here, over here, it was just kind of in the way of my grip. And with that, you know, with that nice forty-five or 35 I, I want to say it's probably 35 that 35 degree angle right there is just out of the way nice and perfect so yeah we've uh we've added one of those uh i've had like i said different different uh different uh, qd sockets you know here there and everywhere um but uh just that that 35 degree is is just perfect because even when the other one was straight up this way it still was kind of in the way and uh it kind of just shifts it back away from you know the palm of my hand and that works out perfectly uh other changes that i did to the rifle oh, i'm sorry the rifle the pistol was uh i put a strike industries little forward hand stop on there and that one just works perfectly you know however which way i want to grab this thing it works great i had a uh what i have on here i had a bcm uh uh, hand stop on here you know, that gunfighter hand stop thing yeah i had that on there for a little while and i just i saw this at a gun show and it it felt great i put the other one on my other on my other pistol my my 556 five, pistol that i built uh maybe i might bring that one out and show you guys uh, on another time but um yes yeah, so the trigger i didn't do anything to that trigger the trigger is is uh that trigger is awesome yeah so i left that trigger alone i swapped out this uh what is a bolt release for a geisley one and now that it's on there i am not liking it so that's one thing that i did that i do not like um that i put on this gun it just seems i don't know it's just it's too big it's goofy i mean yeah i guess it's for it's for right-handed right-handed people i mean left-handed people i'm sorry you know they can reach it easily with their with their finger and i'm right-handed uh so i guess there's really no reason for that to be on there uh i mean it does give you you know better better real estate you know when you're quickly 
you know, trying to, you know, use the switches. But uh, I'm thinking I'm going to take that off. Or, or maybe, if anything, I'll probably just end up cutting this, cutting this piece off and flattening it out and blowing that side so you don't see the steel. And uh, I, I should probably be good with that. Uh, the uh, safety selector, excuse me, because I do not know the brand of this safety selector uh i think i want to say i saw it at a top brass or something like that here in san antonio and uh i mean they had it i bought it and you know anything was better than the crap they put on there um what else did i do this uh this charging handle one of my other videos it was i mean the break-in period if you can believe that right a break-in period for a charging handle i've, I've never had I've never had to break in a charging handle, but this one, yes, was just so freaking tight that it was just a big clunky mess. And it has, it has loosened up big time. I sat there and played with it for weeks, just freaking working it, working it, working it, just grinding everything down. There was, you know, there was, there was in there that could possibly be, you know, creating so much friction and uh now it's it's okay i mean it's still i'm unhappy with the uh with the size of the latch for this being a medium latch it, it it ended up being more like a small latch i would hate to even see what the small latch looks like but um yes uh i mean yeah the the uh the cherry bomb up here i think that's what they call it yeah i want to say that's what they call it uh that thing just does wonders for you know everyone around you just you know just completely forces all the gases the noise you know the, 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 the everything forward um, the enforce light of course I put an enforce light and that thing just would not fit anywhere and I put it up here and yeah I guess you know what I mean I mean just 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 that was my only option anywhere else was just not it was i was not having it in any other direction and that at least it's comfortable you know as soon as i reach for the gun you know it's it's there you know uh but that works out i'm thinking of going to i'm thinking of using a surefire uh micro scout i don't know if you've seen those but they're like this big and they're just you know they, they fit something like that in there and i thought maybe that would be a better solution than that thing because that thing is so small i want to say it's about this size and uh you know it has a push button at the end of it i thought that would be pretty cool uh yeah i understand that the uh the lumens you know aren't, aren't that high but uh for what this is for i'm, I'm just you know this is for you know this this is for one of them this is this is this is a gun for the occasional you know bump in the night you're like what was that you know you get your gun you know you don't need you know in pitch black darkness in your house this this is this is you know 300 300 lumens is perfect you know for 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 that situation and that or that scenario i want to say i went ahead and left the uh i went ahead and left the same the same grip on there i like that i left this on here of course but uh i mean i've changed i've changed a lot of little things on here you know and and you know some of them for the better some of them for for the worst maybe not the worst but you know just not feeling it anymore because you know this doesn't do anything bad or better i guess but that's pretty much it and then uh oh yeah and I, uh i put a uh sorry I'm twisting this thing around put a lantac mil spec and uh i knew that i wanted to get rid of the old uh bcg that was in there so i brought the uh I brought the old one that was in there and this gun functioned you know flawlessly with this thing in there so i i didn't want to i didn't want to you know end up buying something that was skeletonized or or uh you know somehow you know lightened in any way that would you know affect with you know uh you know the function of the gun you know i, I didn't want to start having to play around with with buffers and buffer springs and you know adjusting the gas you know because you know i went i went ahead and went with something just totally different from 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 mil spec so i kept it mil spec and just got me this uh this uh lantac mil spec and i actually weighed these and they're probably like maybe a gram and a half or two away from each other i think this one is just a little heavier than this one 
and I cannot for I can I can't I can't for some reason figure out where or why where or why that that weight is coming from because these suckers look identical. So yeah, this one's a little dirty. I like this uh like this cam pin here. It's a little round. I had I had it in there backwards. Uh, the round part was facing this way. I thought that's the way it went, but. And after me looking at pictures, uh, it goes forward. Uh, and I think I think I did notice, you know, some small damage to the. Uh, let me see. Can we get in there? I guess I wouldn't call it damage or anything like that. But you know, there was some, there was some, you know, some not too normal wear on the. Uh, on the inside right here this thing was just getting scratched up right here and it looks like uh, there's some parts in here it looked like it freaking like skipped like it was just like just jumping like on its way back like it was you know it, it would just like it would but uh yeah that was a bad uh representation of what was happening in there but uh so i want to say when i did buy this thing i did have that thing in there backwards uh i took it apart checked it out you know just just looking at it every time i get something i take it apart and i just I have a look in there, but uh, so yeah, I ended up putting it on backwards. And I want to say I had a couple of times where it was just, it was just jamming on me, and I couldn't figure it out. And then I, I turned this thing around, like I said, the cam pin. I turned it around, and it, uh, it works now. But like I said, I, I, uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't shoot it as often as I would like. Like I said, because of the ammo situation and. You know, and 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 uh, I like to think that you know every every gun person, gun enthusiast is uh, is in in some type of uh, shape or form a, a a prepper, and for me, that is just hoarding as much ammo as I can. So I have I have plenty of it, but I don't have enough of it to where I'm comfortable just going out and losing, not losing, but you know, practicing with, you know you know, a hundred, you know, 200 rounds. And then, you know, uh, my long-term store, my long-term storage for any of my calibers is, is, uh, over, I want to say 3000. So I have probably maybe about, I would say close to three thousand. Well, I have, I have, I have, I have green tips that, that, uh, I probably got maybe like 2000 rounds, you know, obviously I'm never going to shoot that unless, you know, the shit hits the fan. But, you know, I, I, I hoard that, save it, never going to shoot it. I got, you know, an ammo can of 9mm, 1,000 rounds, you know, put that away, never going to use it. 45, 1,000 rounds, and it's all just, you know, in ammo cans being being stored for, you know, stuff like that. And uh, pistol calibers, I don't really hoard a lot of it. I mean, I don't know if 1,000 rounds is, is a lot or not a lot to some people, but, you know, for me... You know your your secondary weapon, which would be your pistol. I'm assuming because I'm assuming your rifle is your is your is your is your main your main weapon. When that goes down, you start reaching for the pistol, right? Uh, so that's why I don't really keep a lot of you know pistol ammunition. A thousand rounds is decent for me, I guess. You know what I mean in my mind. Uh, but uh, when it comes to rifles, I have to I have to have over three four thousand rounds long-term storage and uh i've got you know well past that to where i can just go and shoot comfortably you know here and there and you know and then like i said life gets in the way and stuff like that you know i'm not you know i'm not uh i'm not out there running and gunning and you know stuff like that you know i i, I love guns i enjoy guns and you know i i i know how to use them you know i can i can use i can use a gun to save my life let's just put it that way uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not Rambo or anything like that, you know, or, or some, some of these, some of these cool YouTube guys on here, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this is, this is the, the Q Sugar Weasel, you know, and, and like I said, you know, after, after two years of owning it, I still love it, but I'm starting to realize that the magic is just from here on up, like you can build something you know, way cooler in my opinion. I, I don't even want to say I, I don't even want to say you can build something, you know, for the same price range that that is that is uh, just as cool as this. I'm, I mean, you can build something with less money and way cooler than this in my opinion. 
you know, just because that fucking cue is on there doesn't mean shit, you know, just like I said, you know, in my other video, you know, I've seen, I've seen, uh, like I said, just the slop that this thing has. And, and like I said, in my other video, I, I explained to you all the, all the things that, you know, when I got it, they were, they were kind of not wrong with it, but you know, it could have been better coming from Q, you know, but, uh, yeah, like, like I, like I'm saying, man, like, you know, I, I, I could buy a really nice, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Aero Precision. You know what I mean? Uh, what do you call that? Uh, the uh, the enhanced set. You know what I mean? Where you know it has a deleted this, and you know it looks like a, you know, everything is just enhanced on that. But yeah, so I mean, like I said, this this from here on up is where the magic is. You know what I mean? I mean maybe not even the handguard. I mean, who cares about that handguard? I th I think it's this barrel that. That is that is something special about this gun you know the the one in five twist is is where it's at when it comes to these you know short short pistols like this in 300 blackout and i mean as long as you can get your get your hands on one of these just build something like this like because in my opinion this thing now that i've had it and you know just being around it all day every day you know it's like you know i could have built something cooler for less as long as i had this barrel in there that's it as long as you have that barrel just build you something because it's not all that they mill spec this mill spec that you know trigger mill spec well i mean the trigger's nice but you know it's like all, all the, the, the internals to this thing are nothing, nothing fancy and uh like i said just wanted to give y'all an update on this sucker uh like i said i still love it but uh save your money save your money and just build build something you know way cooler peace